Oh, well, well, what is it? Oh, oh, I know. It's the... Oh, yeah, it's the illustrious mayhem of... Oh, of Richmo Sixer! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the, the illustrious mayhem of original sixers. Hello, <laughs> welcome to Life with the Wild Thing. I'm your host, Bertrand Wild Things. Today, we're going to search for the very tricky and coy Cracker Snatch. <laughs> Oh, there's nothing greater than seeing a cracker snatch in action. <laughs> I can't wait to see me some cracker snatch. <laughs> Yes, it'll make up for last night's parcheesi. Yay, waiting for the cracker snack. <laughs> well, hang my alabaster and call me sassafras. And that was another segment of Life with the Wild Things. <laughs> with no wild things. I need a drink. It's the illustrious mayhem of Ridgemo Sixer. Hello, thank you for calling BSS Buy Some Stuff. My name is Jandra Anikwe. How can I help you? Yeah, I was wondering if you got the Wii. Oh, you want the Wii? Yeah, the Wii. Have you got the Wii? Oh, we ain't got the Wii. You ain't got the Wii? No, we ain't got the Wii. When are you going to get the Wii? Uh, I can ask my manager. Okay. All right, hold on. Beep! Hello, thank you for calling BSS. Buy some stuff. My name is Hydro Funkazo. How can I help you? Yeah, I was wondering if you got the Wii. Oh, you want the Wii? Yeah, the Wii. Well, we don't have the Wii. You ain't got the Wii. No Wii. That's what the other lady said. I'm asking you, when are you going to get the Wii? Ah. Uh... I can ask my store supervisor. Okay. All right, hold on. Beep! 
Man. Thank you for calling BS. Yes. My name is Five Foot Sister with the Redneck. How can I help you? I was told that you knew when you were going to get the weed. No, oh, you want the weed? Yes, I want to get the weed. Well, we don't have the weed. I know you don't have the weed, but you know when you're going to get the weed, don't you? Oh, well, we're not getting the weed till next year, so no weed for now. So no weed? No weed. For now. So you're not going to get the weed? For now. Well, where can I get the weed? Ah. Uh... Hold on. Oh, yeah. Vikings. Vikings. Oh, it's, so, it's always a heartbreak. It's always a heartbreak. They're going to break our hearts every season. Every season. Break our hearts. I've never, I've never seen the Vikings win a Super Bowl. I've seen them play. Never seen them win one. Never win. Yeah. Always, is this going to be our year? Is this going to be our year? And then we get a quarterback like Favre who you know, stubs his toe. I can't play. Stub my toe. <sighs> purple and gold. Purple and gold. You know, I'm screwed either way. If I wear purple or gold, and I wear maroon and gold, I can't wear either one of them. Is there any team out there that's just gold? <sighs> At least Percy plays, and he's got a headache. I want my Viking Super Bowl championship ring, and I want it now! I think Tarkington should have won the Super Bowl. No, no, he couldn't win the Super Bowl. Now we got Brett there. He's already won a Super Bowl. He's not going to try to get another one. How many rings can he wear? Give me one. Give me one, Brett. I want a Super Bowl ring. I just want to look at one. That's all. Uh... I wonder if I could make a noose out of these beads. Okay, I just can't take. I can't take these seasons anymore. I'm, just, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it all. I gotta take. A, I gotta. I gotta commit Harry Carey with a axe. Uh, freaking cheese head. Huh, there's another one. <laughs> I like cheese. <laughs> oh, that was pretty comical. Hey Myrtle, get in here and check this out. It's pretty funny. I don't want to. I don't think anything's funny. What are you talking about? You don't even know what's funny and not funny. Ow! What'd you do that for? I said it's not funny! Well, you don't have to get all volatile. Jeez. And it is funny. Ow! <laughs> oh, that was a ticklet. Hello! And welcome to Life with the Wild Things. I'm your host, Mr. Bertrand Wild Things. Today, we're going to search for the ever elusive Bumba Clyde. Oh, where could the possible roamings of the Bumba Clyde be? <laughs> I don't know. That's why we're here. So, Bumba Clyde, come out. Show yourself. Bumba. Ba la 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 Bumba.
Bombaclad. I use the bathroom. <sighs> no bombaclad. <sighs> bombaclad. Bomb clad. Bomb clad. Where is it? Oh, what do we have here? Ah, oh, it's the illustrious mayhem of Ridgemole Sixer. <coughs> oh, what the? And now it's time for another bowl of stewed goodness from the Chitlin Crockpot. Your host, Mick of Maintenance. Oh, there you are, back from burning your hot chocolate. <laughs> you know, there's some people who are not really sure when they should take down their holiday decorations, or more specifically, their Christmas tree. Well, I tell you, it all depends on the zone that you're in. And I don't mean like the work zone or the end zone. I'm talking about your neighborhood zone that you're in. <laughs> For example, Let's say you live in a neighborhood where a lot of your neighbors keep up their decorations so long that you could be driving through the neighborhood during Valentine's and you'll still have flashbacks to last year. <laughs> or you might live in a neighborhood that the neighbors hardly put up any decorations at all or they take them down right away. <laughs> well, in either case, you should keep up your decorations as long as possible. Mm -hmm. That way, you are perceived as having the holiday spirit, even though you might not. Also, people might give you bigger smiles and be nicer to you when they come up and knock on your door to sell you vacuum cleaners or Girl Scout cookies. And you might even get a much better seat at Community Bingo. All right, go ahead now, be jolly. Don't drive like a dink. Oh, and if you took your decorations down a day or two after Christmas, you just like community night school doing a snowstorm. No class. And that was another batch of scrumptious diddlyumptious from the Chitlin Crockpot with your host, Mick of Maintenance. Well, as they say in the old country, uh, oh, I better not say that on the air. Hey, Tree, what did you do with my Obama ornament? Welcome to Sports Talk with Step Weatherby. Let's go. <laughs> the NFL party has turned into more like an NFL parody in 2010. <laughs> I mean, with about a third of the games left to go in the season, there are close races in every division and a lot of vires for playoff spots. <laughs> just like a swimsuit competition or a division rival game with no TDs and just field goals. <laughs> a lot of leg. <laughs> Well, you got the New York Jets, the New England Patriots, and the Atlanta Falcons with the best records in the NFL. However, the Jets have beat the Patriots, and the Patriots have beat the Steelers, who in turn have beat the Falcons. <laughs> well, the Falcons, they beat Cleveland, who has beat New Orleans, who's beat the Vikings, who has beat the Redskins, who beat the Giants, who beat the Bears, who beat the Packers, who in turn beat 
the Jets. <laughs> oh yes, the NFL 2010 parody party. <laughs> Woo, stay for the ride. <laughs> And here I am at the last Vikings game where there was a working dome and where Brett got knocked out. <laughs> but I don't want anybody to see me. <laughs> oh, okay, so I lied. There I am, you can see me. <laughs> All right, go Vikings! <laughs> well, let's talk NBA, shall we? <laughs> We just have about 20 games going into the season, not even that many, and the usuals are holding up their shorts, <laughs> or sagging them really low, depending on where their jock itch resides. <laughs> now, in the Easter Division, hey, you got the usuals, Boston and Orlando running the show, but we also have teams like Miami and Atlanta who are close behind. <laughs> well, in the Western Conference, we have, yes, San Antonio and Dallas leading the way. And we also have Utah, LA, New Orleans, and Oklahoma City in the mix. Well, let me just say to the teams in Los Angeles and Miami, you know, if you want to start playing better, you know what you need to do? <laughs> you need to start partying so much. <laughs> I mean, the party cities, you need to put the drinks down and get some sleep sound. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I know Los Angeles will make the playoffs, but Miami? <laughs> mm. And that was Sports Talk with Steph Weatherby. <laughs> Catch you on the next rebound. Snatch! Oh, that scrunched my cabbage. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> and that was Life with the Wild Things. I was your host, Bertrand Wild Things. Thanks for watching. Please, watch again. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. It's not funny! Ow! <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and that was the illustrious mayhem of original Sixers. I hate turnovers. <laughs> Even if they got apples and blueberry in them. I hate turnovers. Hey, move over. Move over. Action. Cut. <laughs> what? Hello, thank you for calling E Devil Ass Spicy Stuff. My name is Sandra Nikwe.